It is a mysterious thing. Tongues of fire. Somebody say, fall on me. Tongues of fire. Fall on me. You're going to walk out of here different than when you came in. Listen, I don't believe in hype. Do I always tell the truth? I wouldn't dare get in this pulpit and lie before the Holy Ghost. Amen. I don't want to be like Ananias and Sapphira, praise God. But the Lord has already showed me what he wants to do. It's just up to you whether you will let him do it. How many of you will let the Holy Spirit have his way today? Hey! I'll tell you the truth. I went to get out of my house this morning. And when I went to drive out of my house, I have a gate. I have to click the button to get out of the garage. And the clicker doesn't work. It worked yesterday. This morning, I'm like, click, click. Click. In the name of Jesus, click. Lo and behold... God had plan B. I got to ride with Mr. John in his fancy car today. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is good. Somebody say, tongues of fire. Tongues of fire. Fall, on me. Fall on me. Now, I want to take you on a, a journey into Holy Ghost imagination. Can we do that? So what I want you, and no cheating, no cheating, no cheating. I want everybody in just a moment when I tell you, I want everybody, not yet, not yet. But I want everybody to close your eyes in just a moment. And I'm going to take you on a Holy Ghost imagination journey. See, I like to imagine the scriptures. Amen. There's nothing wrong with that. God gave you an imagination. Yes or no? Yes. God gave, and listen, it can be demonic if the, if, the, if the devil gets hold of it. But, you know, God gave us an imagination. He made us with a mind, a will, an imagination, emotion, intellect, and reasonings. And so we're going to use our imagination today. So... Now, close your eyes. This is a mashup, and I want you to imagine this as I'm reading it. No cheating. Holy Ghost going to get you. You better close those eyes. <laughs> Acts 2, 1 through 4. This is a mashup from various versions of Scripture. I want you to see this as I read it. Picture yourself among the disciples in the upper room. And the Bible says, on the day of Pentecost was being fulfilled, all the disciples were gathered in one place. And suddenly, without warning, they heard the sound of a violent blast of wind rushing into the house from out of the heavenly realm. The sound shook the upper room. Nobody could tell where it came from. The roar of the wind was so overpowering. It was all anybody could bear. It filled the whole building like a wildfire. The Holy Spirit spread through their ranks. A pillar of fire appeared before their eyes. It separated into the tongues of fire that engulfed each one of them. They were all filled and equipped with the Holy Spirit, and they were inspired to speak in tongues. Can you see it? You can open your eyes now. You're all so obedient. I'm just so thrilled. There was only one of you who disobeyed, and we're going to cast that devil out of you in just a moment. <laughs> that defiant demon. Oh, I saw you. I saw you. That's all right. Amen. It's okay. You came to the right place. Somebody say, out by fire. Out by fire. <laughs> Listen, this was a moment in time when heaven literally collided with earth. Somebody say, do it again, Lord. Yeah. I mean, I can almost hear the windows rattling. I can almost feel the walls creaking and the rushing wind shaking everything as it blew by. Imagine yourself in that moment. There had nothing ever been like it before. I can imagine the tongues of fire representing the presence of God resting on each one. What a sight. My God, what a sight. See, you know, Bible translators actually say that the disciples, these 120 that were in the upper room, they entered into an ecstatic state. That means they entered into the seer dimensions. If this had happened anywhere else, no one would have heard the wind. No one would have seen the tongues of fire. They had entered deeply into the seer dimensions in that moment. How many of you have ever entered the seer dimensions? 
God wants that for you. Lift up your hands right now. In the name of Jesus, God, I'm asking you. In the name of Jesus, God, we want to go where you want to take us. Lord, lead us and guide us into all truth. Open our spiritual eyes even now. In Jesus' name, God, open our spiritual ears a little wider. We want to hear you. We want to see you. We want to live, move, and have our being in you, God. Fill us right now in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen.